Hey, what is happening, guys? Will you take a look at that? That is one incredibly bright LED bulb. This is from a company called Sansi. And they provided us a couple of these bulbs to take a look at. So big thanks to SansiLED.com for sending these out for our consideration. Now these bulbs, and let's zoom in here so you can get a better look. These are 27 watt. I mean, that's, uh, that's a lot of watts. That's incredibly powerful for an LED. It's going to be super bright. These ones they sent me are for the American market, but I'm sure they have them for a 240 volt market as well. Model is C21BB-WE26-27W. They have an E26 base and Edison screw, a color rendering index of 80. They're not dimmable. 3000 degrees Kelvin and the flux is 3500. So this is a big bulb. Compare it to the size of a standard LED light bulb and you can see the difference there. Also one thing you're going to notice here is the weight. They're very heavy and listen to this. Hear that? That's ceramic. That must be for the heat dissipation. Let's fire this bulb up and I'm going to try and not blind you too much with it. Here, I'll turn it off for a second. We'll bring out our light meter. And we will put it in whoops, maximum mode. So there's our bench lighting. 5,416 lux. We'll fire this up and we'll hold this about six inches away. And you see we've got 7,060 times 10. So we're looking at 70,000 lux. Now if I bring it closer, there's 1372 times 100. So yeah, we're looking at over 100,000 lux for that. In terms of foot candles, 12,000 foot candles. Now that is super bright. Let's compare that with a standard eight and a half watt LED. I mean obviously the 27 watts is going to be much brighter but let's quantify it with some numbers here. We're back in peak hold mode and if I can find the switch we'll start at the same six inch distance and we've got 2250 times 10. And if we go right up on it, 5710 times 10. So quite a bit of difference in the power of that big honking LED. Let's uh, put it on the power meter and see what it looks like. Okay, once again, we're over on the scary unclean part of my desk. I've clamped the light there. If we power it up, you can see it is drawing the advertised 27 watts. Two hundred and thirty milliamps. Yeah, that's a that's not bad at all. Not too bad. Well that covers all of the external and cosmetic things for us to look at and I'm guessing that the next thing we want to look at is the internals you can see we have the wiring coming up through the ceramic here and going right to the circuit board which I'm trying to figure out how to get off give me just a second all right, a little bit of poking and prodding later, and we are in we'll snip that off there. 
has a two-piece clear plastic shell over it here. And this is all plastic on the inside here, this piece. But this is a nice cast piece of ceramic with the LEDs simply soldered together. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, those LEDs are just soldered in series around there. All right, let's take a look at the power supply. <laughs> I don't believe this is probably the approved way of extracting the power supply. Ooh, it's all potted. That's going to make it somewhat harder for us to see what's going on. I don't like that. That's like gummy. Yeah, this is going to be impossible for us to really take a look at the circuitry. I mean, looks like we're coming in. This is probably a polyfuse. We've got a MOV here. Looks like a choke. A couple of capacitors. This is probably a big X2 capacitor here. MOSFET transformer. 68 microfarad, 350 volt smoothing cap on the output. So, yeah, I wish they hadn't covered this entire board in this crap. We can't really see anything. That's somewhat disappointing. Well, the bulb itself is quite nice. From what I can see of the construction, they've done their homework. They've added this large ceramic element for cooling, which is all very nice. I wish they hadn't potted the circuit board so we could take a better look at it, but hey. Let's, uh, let's put this on the power supply. I've got it hooked up to the low voltage power supply. We'll start out there. Power it up at one volt. I'm not seeing anything. Let's turn out some of these lights. Two volts. Three volts. Four volts. Five. Six. I see something. I see a flicker. Well, up to 11 volts, and we're not getting anything. We're going to have to go to a uh, larger power supply. All right, we got out the bigger power supply here. And we'll see where we can go from here. So there's about where we were before at 11 volts, still nothing. Well, that's it for me. 32 volts is about as high as I can go. Still no light. So yeah, those, those are series wired. Interesting. Very interesting choices in the manufacture of this. These are available on Amazon, by the way, and I'll put a link down below. I'm not going to add these to my store. They are somewhat pricey there. A pair of them is uh, $49. But I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned a little bit of something about these Sansi lights. They do seem to be well built, and they sure do put out a lot of light. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever you like to do. Big thanks to all my patrons. Thanks to Sansi, and thanks to you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.